Okay, good afternoon everyone. Good afternoon for the students. Okay, and good good morning for Bujuna Dewi dan Nia. Okay, this is our third meeting for cross cultural understanding class, and today we have Bujuna Dewi dan Nia as our guest speaker. Okay, Bu, how should I call you, Bujuna Ida? Just like just usual, Bujun. Hello. Yes. Yeah, Bujun or or uh, do you have any suggestion that make make the students <laughs> make the student feel a little bit closer to you? <laughs> It's up to us, yeah. Would you need that? It's okay, 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 uh, uh, okay. Bu, uh, do you, <laughs> okay. Uh, I will. Uh, maybe you can you can introduce your samples yeah to the students. Okay. I think you have you have poor connection network I think. Okay. Uh, okay. Yes, I'm trying with my other device. Uh, for a sec. Try to. It's okay. It's okay. Let me think. With my other device, mm -hmm. can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, uh, it's better now. Oh, putus putus lagi, Bu. Hello, yeah, uh, it's, uh, yeah it's better now. okay, then hold up, mm -hmm. take and turn. Sure. Wow. So, wait. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, yeah. Can you hear me through other, yeah. my other device? I was on yeah. other device. Uh, yeah. So, well, okay. So, you, so you're you using two devices now. Okay. Okay. Can you hear me through? Okay. Can you hear me through? Oh. Okay, better leave it. Other. Okay, it should be fine. Yeah. yeah. All right. Hello, everyone. Uh, should I? <laughs> okay, my name is uh. Should I mention my name? Uh, my name is Junaida. Junaida Wildani. Uh, I teach in mathematics education program and but i but i'm on leave right now for my doctoral study i'm studying in a school of education in university of nottingham that is in the uk and my research area is about uh, teachers learning in supporting students problem solving That's it, I guess. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about me. Okay, yeah. and do you have something to say about verbal and non-verbal communication? Well, actually, I uh, actually I prepare PowerPoint, but because mm -hmm. I'm joining through my iPad, I'm not sure if I can 
ser PowerPoint through iPad now. My item, okay. Screen. Ah, no, the what? I tried to, I could try to put me close or something. Or maybe you can share your PowerPoint to my WhatsApp number so I oh, can okay. help you to share. Okay. All right. Good, good, good. Uh, let me email you. Yeah. Let me email you. I'll, I'll send it to your email because it was not in. Yeah. Actually, it's in my email because I did it in other laptop. <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of it's too many devices separately. Mm -hmm. So this is your email. All right, uh, so I guess uh, where should I start? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Have you sent to uh, my email? Yes. Okay, but uh, let me check. You haven't received it? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. It will. It's still downloading. Okay. I maybe want to ask the students, do you, any of you know anything about UK at all? Okay, students, please answer the question. Do you know, do you know anything about, what do you know about, what do you know about UK, about United Kingdom? I know the people, people from UK. <laughs> yeah, where exactly the people are from? Liverpool, I think. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, you're correct. <laughs> yes, yes, that's correct. I think in Liverpool there are there's statue. Oh, I've never been in Liverpool. Not really interested to. What else again that you know about UK? Okay, I have minutes to share the screen. Okay. I don't know if I can <laughs> wait with yeah, it. You, very... It's already here. Yeah. Uh -huh. I already see but it. I don't know how to uh slide. So oh yeah, yeah, slides. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Wait, okay. It's working. All right. Uh, okay. So you can start. With... So you 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 later when I said uh go to the next slide, you can help me to move to the next slide, right? Okay, um, all right. <laughs> All right. Uh, so um, but then go to, oh, we 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 are going to talk about understanding communication culture here in England, because, yeah, because as English speaking country, it was it has different culture and habit throughout the English speaking country like the US, and in my opinion though. It's very different from the US because I have some friends from the US too, and they uh the way they talk and the way the way they argue, the way they express their opinion is totally different. So uh I want you to understand about like UK first, it's kind of like introduction. So when we call UK or United Kingdom, actually it's a consists of four countries, so four countries which is Scotland, and then there is Northern Ireland, and there is England, and there is Wales. So they call countries, but they all united under the kingdom, the, uh, the royal kingdom, which is now the king is King Charles. So they have, because they different countries, so they kind of have different uh, culture so right now i'm just going to talk about england uh 
this as you can see so the scotland is the orange one the wales is and the northern Ireland is different and the rest of it is england and i live in nottingham which is in we call it counties so there is country and there is counties so it's like that is midland england and there is a after counties there is like nottinghamshire derbyshire Berkshire's in Indonesia, it's probably like uh four different small city at the same time, like probably like Kresi, Sidoarjo, Mojokerto, and you know, uh, Surabaya. Is it like the four close small cities? Then we call it like Sire. Like I live in Derby, uh, Nottingham Sire, and then the city is Nottingham. So the way they communicate from the southest part of England with the north is quite different. And from the people in academia or in higher education and people outside academia is quite different, it's quite different as well. That's how I notice it. Uh, I don't know if you ever watch British movie or you uh, or drama, you would notice that the way they speak is very fast and the the accent was very strong. But in academia, people in the university, it's not that strong, the accent, because they used to live in a international community and they need to make sure that that people understand them. So they talk more slowly. And that's also happened in like uh, upper class pretties. If you have the time, you can watch the King's speech, like actually King's Charles speech. He will talk very clearly and so he compared to other. Okay, um, I'll, I'll, I'll give example next time. Uh, next slide. So I should uh, have a picture of this, but uh, uh. so the key point to bit cultural breed to British communication first time is the first thing you need to consider is the choice of platform of communication. So yes, British people love to write a lot of mails and include it's not only emails, it's the you know the old style mails as well, especially like postcard. So actually usually during Christmas. So because I live, uh, right now, I live in housing area. Uh, not yet, as people. <laughs> because right now I live in the housing area. I don't know if I can show you this. Uh, probably I I don't know. I'm, I was trying to show my living area through the camera, but I'm not sure if I can do this. <laughs> Basically, uh, I'm living in the housing area of the the like the old British people, like like old family. So what happened is when usually during Christmas, every one of them. So around my roundabout, there's like sixteen house. So every house uh, sent sent us a postcard. Christmas card and they just say like oh happy Christmas and then write their name and write their wishes and then put in our mailbox and I did the same so we send them so every house everyone send another house a Christmas card and for birthday as well uh, usually we got oh this is one of the Christmas something like this oh. But I cannot show you the content. <laughs> so it's like a, a Christmas. So every Christmas, my friend also sent me a Christmas card like this. And then I don't know if you can see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that sounds writing of it. It is. Uh, and then uh, if if they want to go to holiday somewhere far and probably like need to leave England for a few months, they also somehow send me another card. 
this is my friend so they she like send me card and then write like I, uh, I appreciate your help basically write something like that <laughs> So yeah, uh, Greek is like like to write cards like it. So the culture or the tradition of giving card to another is very, is still very strong. I, I don't know in Indonesia we we don't have the habit to send card to another, right? When when we, our uh, friends, are... I think many years ago we send card to Lebaran. Oh, we, <laughs> but we not still anymore. do. No, not anymore. Not anymore, right? Many uh, years yes, ago, I, uh, when I was in yes. high school, I still send card to Lebaran. So I remember in the past, I also usually got um, I Idul Fitri card from my brother, but I don't think we got that anymore. Yeah. So, but here, you still send. I don't know the the tradition of sending card is still have a is still very much strong. So I still see I have another three cards. It's for um, Christmas card for every. <laughs> For every Christmas, they yeah. they just and then there is a birthday card. They just basically love sending cards. <laughs> but and oh uh, yes, huh? they know that they know that you don't celebrate Christmas, but they still yes, send yes they know the, the card. Uh, they know they even just even, even during, yes even during Christmas um uh, this this last year last year christmas so the one of the old lady invite invite us to uh to his to her house and i saw uh on her wall there are many cards so every time someone send her a card uh she use it as decoration in like like a wall or something it's very interesting it, it's very pretty too and about the Christmas, uh, yeah, people, so the, the, here, Christmas is more like holiday celebration. So the the religious aspect of it is almost gone. Only only religious people still celebrate like religiously. Most people don't go to church. They, they just celebrate like having Christmas dinner with their family. So it's more like holiday Christmas. So when... For example, when my supervisor asked me, like, oh, so how is going how are you going to spend your Christmas? And I just said, like, oh, in the office, I'm going to do my work. No, no, you cannot do that. You have to you have to be with someone during Christmas. It's like, no, no, that's totally fine. I don't celebrate Christmas. No, it's holiday. You have to be with someone. You cannot be in the office alone. It's like he insists. <laughs> and then my other friends like, oh, you're going to be alone. Just come in, come in my house, and then like you know, invite me for a meal. Yeah. <laughs> because they just somehow feel so sorry for me because I I don't I don't celebrate Christmas, so they feel so <laughs> sorry for me. Uh, uh, next slide, please. So this is a. Uh... We happy? Yeah, Hello. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Because I have trouble with my, oh my God, oh my God, what should I do? Next slide. Yeah, next slide, but I can, I can, I can change What's the slide. What's happening? Ah, wait, 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 I can change the slide. Oh, I got the okay. camera. Okay. <laughs> But uh, can 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 you see the housing area? I, I see the camera on mine. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So it's like that. So it's like right about right. So it's like the house is an circling a circle. So the house around the circle is like sending card to each other, <laughs> like that. So it's spring, yeah. Uh, it's spring, it's spring. Uh, yeah. Now it's go back to winter now. It's winter is still is it still winter? No, it should be near spring, spring. spring. But you can weather is just the worst. It's just somehow come back to winter, just like <laughs> winter is cold, very cold again. Uh, so, so this is the email communication. So they also prefer, especially the old one, prefer to write email rather than just you know through message like uh 
or uh, they don't really use WhatsApp. Basically, they just prefer to write email, if, even though it's for a small stuff. Mm -hmm. Usually, I communicate with my supervisor just like, you know, for supervision stuff. But here is, you know. So the story is I, because I stay in the office a lot, and usually during the Christmas holiday or the Easter holiday, they turn off the heater. Uh, the heater is pemanas uh, ruangan. We don't have AC here. We, we need the heater because it's so cold. Heater here, heater here for water, yeah, I think. <laughs> to cook water, yeah, so... heater here in Indonesia. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, we need we need a room heater and usually the 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 university uh, switch off the heater the uh, the central heater during the holiday. That's why my supervisor so kindly lent his a uh, small heater to me to my personal use in the office. So but when when also he felt cold in the office, he would like oh just. Please, can I borrow back my heater? <laughs> so like that. So this is uh, the example of email, like email communication for me and my supervisor. So it's just like like small matter or something like that. Hey, are you in the office? It's just like using email <laughs> instead of like WhatsApp. But um, we don't need to like you know uh. In, in in Indonesia, you probably if you communicate with the lecturer, you you need to address them with like bu pa or something like that. Here, I I just call his name, <laughs> even though he's so old. But sometimes I try to call him like professor, but he doesn't like it. <laughs> so just he just want me to call his name here. That you cannot it's just like hi Jeff. Jeff is actually his nickname. It's, it's not even it's like the formal, it's just like nickname. Okay, uh next slide. Two. Yeah. And then uh this is the the, the I think the more the, the important part of communication culture in England is greeting in small talk. So here's the thing. British people love to make a small talk rather than have serious talk. So sometimes we spend like an hour just, just talk about small things that I actually don't see the point. <laughs> and the small talk is of course the greeting the small talk is usually start by talking about weather because because in the uk the weather is so unstable i, I, I don't know if that we call it unstable but it's so changeable so we, we could always talking about it sometimes during one day i experienced the four seasons at the same time in the morning it was snowing and then it's mm. sunny and then it's rain and then it's so gloomy. So it's like experiencing experiencing four seasons at the same time. So that's why we usually like, hi, oh, it's a sunny outside, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice that you walk, um, having walk. Or like, oh, it's bloody gloomy. Something like that. Oh God, it's wet. So we just somehow talk about well then. Like, and then uh, when we make greeting, uh, we don't usually say hello is more about americans like you know in usually in americans like hello but here we use more like hi or hiya so it's a hiya is a non-academic yeah. people so it's like when you go to the stores or other like post office or something you 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 don't say like hello or hi well you can say that of course but people there is just like hiya that's bad it's like, or it's just like, hi, can I help you? I was like, and then, uh, you know, in when we learn English, usually when you say we greet other, usually we say how are you. Here, uh, for the people outside academia, they say are you alright? It's like 
hi yeah are you all right I was so surprised at the at the first because why are why are they asking me am I all right? <laughs> but it's just like the same way as they how are you? It's like for example you um you go to like something like Indo March, the staff would say hi yeah are you all right? Something like that and then you say yeah I'm fine how are you? Then you just say how are you for that? Like, like hey are you all right? Yeah. Like, you don't say like, oh, I'm all right. Like You can say that, of course. There's no such certain rule in language. But you say like, yeah, I'm fine. Then, uh, how are you? you? You don't say like, how about you? But like, how are you? And then usually in, for example, you just meet someone in the hallway, in the corridor. You, you also say that, hi. But in, in university area, they say, how are you? So are you all right? It's more people outside educational institution outside academic area outside academia people in academia like professors students staff they say how are you so it's a as i said before there is a bit different way of talking with people with inside the education and outside the education in london the difference is more significant so significant in london people outside the Education is just wild. <laughs> Here, in Nottingham, uh, the difference is just like a small difference. Just the way they're greeting and the accent is probably like strong. Like, oh, you're a darling. Yeah, they they, they say darling a lot. So if you're lonely, it, it feels good. <laughs> because people on the streets somehow call you like, oh, you okay, darling. So I, I, I guess darling is just like, nah. Oh, yeah, do, do, yeah. Do. yeah, like old people, because usually it's old people who call it darling. It's, so it's, it's kind of like, nah. yeah. hi, darling, are you right? Something like that. It doesn't mean that, you know, they love you or something. It's just, it's just like, nah. So they don't really say, my dear, but it's like, darling. Okay, and yeah, the weather talking. We talk a lot about the weather somehow. And then talking about personal life, they, they're quite private. So they don't really, when, when they will ask you about personal life, but you don't, they don't mean to like have a very personal conversation. It's just another way of chit chatting. For example, when I met my supervisor, she also like, like, oh, hi, oh, yeah, how are you? And how's your family? He will always ask, said, oh, how's your family as well? I was surprised at the same time because why would he want to know about my family? <laughs> but it's just it's just it's just how it is. It's just how they and I noticed that he's asking about families not only to me but to other people as well. So every time meet after a long time not meet like a, in a small gathering or something like hi how are you how are you Jeff like yeah yeah how's your so family? Sometimes when they know they will like mention the member of the family and. You know, you just you just mention superficial fact, not 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 the real condition. <clears throat> like, yeah, yeah, we are right. Like we we'll like, oh, the, my small child, uh, she got to the university. This is just you know mentioning like small detail. Like, are they alright? So yeah, it's like oh, they, the the way they're greeting, like asking like, how are you? And then how you spe how your family? You know that. Uh. Next, next slide. And then this is uh, expressing your opinion. I think this is most important. And I think this is about similar to Japanese people. So British people, they tend to soften negative feedback with fake language and avoid saying no. So <laughs> when they disagree with you, usually when we disagree with someone, we would say like, yeah, like no or something like that. but here people will say like right like like still right but with like with mm. the expression yeah yeah with yeah so expression. i have to know that <laughs> like hmm right or hmm interesting when they say interesting you know, it's not interesting at all it's mean you're wrong <laughs> <laughs> interesting it means like no no that's totally wrong and that's mm, quite good mm, that's bad <laughs> so 
this is just me my view it's like well my opinion is correct you have to listen to me <laughs> it's they, they try to like soften it uh, so for example when i have supervision with my supervisor and then he want me to explain about a theory so uh one of the learning theories like, like so tell me what do you understand about activity theory then i explain what i understand i was wrong so <laughs> he said like hmm right but actually so like after a long period of time he like he was thinking like but actually this theory is then he explained then i just oh i was wrong <laughs> so <laughs> with this you have to pay attention to not only the content of they say but the way they say it like it's like right then yes it's right but let's say right then it's not right it's very different the their tone is like implied their actual opinion and sometimes i think because they they don't really say negative thing they say negative things in positive way it's so difficult to really see how they think for example you 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 present an idea to a group of people and then for example one of them will like have a comment oh clever it's not clever at all it's bad <laughs> But they, they say, the ones just like, oh, clever. Or, or if they see someone who think they have a bad habit or bad attitude, they will use like, what a charming fella. They use the word charming to describe mm -hmm. something that they think is have very bad attitude. So it's like there's so certain have, art. Uh -huh. So you have to pay attention to the intonation or maybe the yeah, expression. Yeah, and the expression. And their expression because it's like, huh, what a charming fella. But actually, they mean it's like, wow, that person have very bad attitude, mm -hmm. like that. <laughs> so you, you you have to like, I don't know. The first time you came here, it's a probably it's very difficult to navigate what they yeah. truly think is. But right now, I'm already in my fourth year. I already kind of, uh, yeah, that's not it's not good. That's but I already can like like. Or something like this. What a clever idea! Uh, it, it's not clever at all. It, it's bad. <laughs> something like that. I think if the British only will really speak their man frankly, when they really really close, or like already have a connection, already have like a close relationship for a long time then they will speak their mind. And when they speak their mind, you will notice that they kind of, a, there's a passive aggressiveness in the way they talk. <laughs> I don't know if you understand, but <laughs> it's interesting communicating with them. Because if, if, if they, you're already close with them, they will like speak their mind. They don't really use positive anymore. And you can notice that they kind of a passive aggressive. So, <laughs> and there is a I don't know but like a bit uh arrogant to it, especially the old people. So my supervisor <laughs> when we talk about other research or other people research, <laughs> they will say some he will say something like this. Yeah, I'm right. My opinion is right. <laughs> he will say something like that. No, and I was like, so no, but this uh this argument say this. No, they're wrong. They're wrong. I'm I'm right. It's just like that. And this or if I compliment, like, whoa, your office is nice. Of course it's nice. Or like, oh, you get a nice uh, laptop. Yeah. They need to or, or something like if I said, Oh, you're right. Of course I'm right. I'm paid to be right. <laughs> there is certain arrogance on it. And a little bit of yeah when when i talk to other old people here outside outside academia they also there's a bit certain arrogant to it i think it's you know the old british pride you know because in the past they used to colonize other countries right so they still have like 
we are a strong nation. We are we're the we are the empire. So we better than anyone. Mm -hmm. That is like that's, that's a certain like it's like they're so sure that they kind of better. <laughs> I don't. It's with the old people, though, not with the young, with the old people, even outside the university. It's like <laughs> the way they talk about someone else or other country is like. I don't know. It's a. I, I love to listen to them talk because it's make me laugh. And then um, body language and personal space. Yeah, they don't really like touch. So you know when here, oh not here in Indonesia when you see your lecture or your teacher, you tend to shake their hand and then kiss their hand. Oh, that's not happening here. They 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 dislike um touching, so they don't even shake hand. Not also hug, unless I mean yeah, you're really close. Then that's the that's the exception. But even I have a friend who already friends with me for four years. She still doesn't like to hug. She doesn't does me. So when we hang out together, uh, we just get a coffee and not really like you know. Like being clean, it talks not like that. Uh, next slide. <laughs> so, since this is uh, I just want to uh, like point out the habit, another habit outside the communication culture of the British. So, on the free time, they like to walking outside. We call it a rambling rambling and walking so walking is usually we walk um you know uh bukan persawahan, uh, i don't know what it's called <laughs> it's like countryside because it's not really like field of body it's just field of grass but very beautiful view though so it's walking and then when when the area is a bit like upward it's called rambling so that we have like walking and rambling so the people here not only the old people the younger as well they love walking and rambling in the countryside it's it's, it's like hiking but hiking is in the mountain right but here because there is no like high mountain like in indonesia they only have like and like i don't know I don't know what it's called. You know, uh, you know the second picture. It's like mountain, but not that high. There's the shape is I don't know what that's all, but yeah, it's like it's the like, highest we can. Uh, hills, the hills. No, exactly <laughs> because. <laughs> well, I don't know. This is oh, just maybe see. just like just like in bunga there is a bukit jamur just like. <laughs> Yeah, probably, probably, basically like that. So uh, that's why it's not really called hiking because it's not mountain. That's why it's called rambling, walking and rambling. <laughs> yeah, so they like they love to do that, but in Indonesia we love to go to mall or you know hanging out, right? And go shopping here, people don't really like go to mall or going shopping. That's why there is no huge shopping mall here because when you go to shop, when you want to buy something, you just go and buy. It. It's not like for hanging out, like we in, in Indonesia, we hang it among. They don't, when they hang out, either they hang out in coffee shop, like uh, the picture I have there. So there are so many coffee shop here, very good. <laughs> And uh, so uh, I make it habit. So every time I visit another town or another city, I go to their local coffee shop instead of like Starbucks or chain shop because I want to see the uniqueness of their coffee from their area. And I think the most uh, the most popular coffee shop here in England is uh, called Two Hundred Degrees. Here is uh, from from the from the Nottingham. So usually after after they walk, do the walking and rambling in the countryside, then they hang out in the coffee shop or in a pub. No, pub is 
to prefer naik and then having brunch or tea so here we have a brunch brunch is a meal between breakfast and lunch so usually during brunch you have a tea and some biscuit and some cookies some like that like scone so they here also have a you know a there's tea time also which is on the evening at habis asar gitu at 3 pm so usually they have tea time before the dinner so i i uh, provide a picture here a uh, tea time you know uh, the one in the corner is when i uh, visit my neighbor house they invite us for tea so tea time is just we sit around drinking tea and then talk about like small things or watching tv together especially uh, like during christmas because the king made speech in the television so we listen together and then drink tea and then eat chocolate or cookies something like that and then just you know make small talks i found that very tiring actually i don't really like small talks but well if you do i mean i go to ex respect their culture though <laughs> And then, uh, yeah, so the, the pictures in the middle is uh, for the Christmas dinner, uh, pictures of our Christmas dinner when they invite us. So uh, it's very interesting. So before before we start our, it's called dinner, but it's actually not dinner. So it's in the morning. Oh. <laughs> but, <me> <laughs> yeah, but they call it dinner, dinner for the Christmas dinner. It's just, it's not dinner. <laughs> It's in the morning, but they call it Christmas dinner. And then there is a rule. Like first first meal is like small things and you have to use certain utensil. I'm not from there, too, so I have to be explained from that. No, you use that uh, fork. You, use, you need to use that spoon for that. I cannot use just any spoon to eat they will profit certain spoon for certain food i'm not allowed to and i have to you you know use the knife and the fork uh, the way they do it if i try to just switch to it with my right hand one in the wedding and then use the knife in my left hand and then one of the ladies like oh no 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 darling that's not how eat it Please switch. Your fork must be on left. You eat with your left hand. I was like, no, no, I'm fine. No, no, you have to do this. We do it right here. It's our culture, something like that. It's our tradition. <laughs> so you, they have this, like, have strong <laughs> attitude about their their have their eating habit. And then after like the first dish and then the main food and before eating you notice there is a like cylinder things there it's called crackers so it's a, it's, it's like a game so you with the people near you uh, pull off the crackers and it will um, create a sound like dark like that <laughs> then inside there is a paper and like paper crown and you have to wear it and then there is a like a like a joke like printed joke or game like 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 you know kuyonan bapak bapak somehow in indonesia there's inside there is that <laughs> it's like what's uh the question is like what's the athlete that always feel cold it's like that so it's like a question joke that you ask to your friend and you have the answer so it's like going around asking that question the joke and then you can start eating after that and then they of course they um provide wine i don't drink it don't worry <laughs> <laughs> i ask for just a grape juice <laughs> don't worry and yeah and that is on 
and in the in the last slide uh, that's just a recommendation for drama to understand the British culture more. Of course, there are more than this. This is just what I watch and what I love. This is all available in Netflix. <laughs> I think that's all what I can say about the communication culture here. Um, any question, you can ask me. Thank you for the beautiful presentation. <laughs> okay, I don't, I don't expect that, yeah, because you said that. Gak janji ya waktu bilang mau bikin live PPT. Okay. Because, because yesterday, uh, I don't expect that. Any... It's very beautiful and informative, yeah. No, because yesterday I couldn't think any idea for my thesis. My brain just stopped working. I was like, oh gosh, I cannot write. Or rather, I just do something else. And in the office, I just do this and then going home. <laughs> okay, but it's okay. Okay, I think Bu Emma is here. Okay, Bu Emma. Oh, hello. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, let me see. Hi. Bu Emma, are you still here? Yeah, okay, Bu Emma. Can you turn on your camera and say something? Unmute yourself and say something, Bu Emma. Hi, Bu. Yeah. Hello. Ya Allah, kind of miss you so much. Um, I am inside too. the mask. I haven't got my answer prayer actually. <laughs> Good gosh, don't worry. <laughs> no, 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 no. Please worry. <laughs> don't listen to me. Okay, Bu Emma wants okay. to ask you the first question. Uh, first question, yeah. First question before, from Bu Emma. Yeah. Before we go to the students. Okay. <laughs> Lali. Oh yeah, but talking about uh, the way those British people speak, do you think that they frequently do something like dark jokes or sarcasm? Yes, or of course. Very much yes. The dark jokes is the part of the they mark like they make you? Self... Yep. jokes mereka tuh kayak merendahkan diri sendiri juga gitu loh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, they, they they use a lot of sarcasm and judges. Luckily, I also very sarcastic, so I quickly to adapt. <laughs> oh yeah, I know that because you are also taking a PhD in sarcasm, right? <laughs> <laughs> they are. Yeah, they they have. They they this have this passive aggressive nature. It also includes sarcasm. So like that's why they 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 insult you with a compliment yes that's that they insult you with a compliment mereka menguji dengan mereka menghinamu dengan pujian that's it yes that's the word <laughs> they insult you with a compliment so when they think you're stupid they say oh clever what a clever idea they mean not <laughs> so can it be said that when they say oh you are stupid I mean actually you're not stupid at all <laughs> that's not their culture yeah people British people will not say that you're stupid. Uh, okay, it's okay, not okay. part of the culture. They want. They will not say negative thing. They say positive thing with very insulting tone. And you have okay. to notice their tone. Yeah. Right. Oh, I'm sure you're right. Oh, I'm sure you're right. Oh, beg my pardon. <laughs> oh, and they say sorry a lot somehow. Sorry for interrupting. It's like. But I just want to point it out that something like that. <laughs> okay. Also, I think they also it's a the way they talk. It's ex influence the way they the way they the way we made a feedback for students, you know. Because I do in terms of here to teach students and to what is that supervision for master student dissertation, and I have to write the feedback. It's very difficult to me because I cannot just say, oh my God, you have a very bad writing. I cannot say that. Mm -hmm. I still have to say something good even though the writing is absolutely bad. So I feel like, oh, yeah, your writing is um, it's not bad, but you just need improvement in the area. So you need to say something good even though you thought it's bad. It's influenced the way they we give feedback to our students as well. Uh, I don't have any student here know about me, but I think I have the reputation to say something harsh to students. 
So you have to I say something positive. I cannot do that here. So, yeah, you, <laughs> okay, you, yeah, I know. I know Bujinaida will not say any positive thing if... <laughs> Oke, okay, I don't know what to say. Uh, ya biasanya Bu Junaida kalau jelek ya bilang jelek ya. Yes, uh, I don't know if the students know, but I, I absolutely will not say like, hey, your yeah, yeah, work is good. No, I'm just like, like, what are you doing? Why you have this hideous work? In Indonesia, I would absolutely say that this wrong, this wrong, this wrong, improve this. Here, I cannot do that. That's why it's very difficult for me to give feedback here. I need to like, lot of like one month to just write feedback mm -hmm. because because i need to make my opinion to be softer to say it in nice way <sighs> but you get used to now you get used and to now it. i will go back to my old self I go back. I no <laughs> so when you return to yuki you have to do that <laughs> don't return, no, to, don't to, return to, to your that. old style <laughs> I'm going back to my old self and I come back to Indonesia. <laughs> okay. Okay, I think okay, I think Bu <laughs> where my spot is already left, I think. Yeah, okay, okay. Yes. Now the next question from the students, okay, who will be the first volunteer to ask a questions, Rizky? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Yeah, okay. Hello. Hello. So, well, how are you? Mm, not bad. <laughs> Can't complain. Yeah. I don't know. Actually, previously I uh, prepared some questions for you. Mm -hmm. uh, I think you have already answered all of my questions. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, 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 maybe... I just want to know, uh, could you tell me your experience when you were moving to the Nottingham? Yeah. Experience? Yeah. Your experience uh, uh, mingling in with the. Yeah. Ah. Your... Experience in, in adapting to. Ah, oh, yeah. okay. Maybe, okay. Maybe I can add your questions, Rizky. Yeah, okay. Would I, I think would no, I no, live, okay, have no, lived no, in no. three different countries? Yeah, would you need Yeah, okay. You have, yeah, live in Indonesia. <laughs> you were born in Indonesia, and then you have gone to Australia to pursue your yeah. master degree in Australia for mm -hmm. two years, and then now you live in the UK. United Kingdom, you in UK to pursue the doctoral degree. Oh. Yeah, so they she have she have sorry, she has to she have live in three different countries. Maybe uh, which what which one is more challenging? Living in adapting to new culture in Australia or adapting to a new culture in UK? Maybe. I think I live. I found living here is easier somehow. I don't know. I probably just lucky when I was here because you know I was I'm I'm introverted and I don't like to go to small gathering or something, right? Actually, I just prefer to stay in my own office and my own. But, uh, so somehow people around me help me a lot. I, I'm not sure why they're so kind to me. I feel like I don't deserve it. But, so uh, in, in and I think part of it is um, the group, my, supervi my supervisor group, so in, in School of Education, there are many uh, research centers. So I belong to Mathematics Education Research Center. And it's a bit small group compared to other. But uh, we, at that time, on my first year, we kind of very active to meet together to discuss about uh, some paper. And most of the members of the Mathematics Education Research Centers are from here, from local. So, only two other students are from outside UK, me and other African uh, gentlemen. So we often meet to discuss paper. Before at that time was COVID, so we only meet online, but we get to know each other from that. And then later when the COVID situation is was getting better, we like, uh, met twice i think in in the pub or something so i get to know the the local people 
the first local people that I know is my, the people from my research center group. So they are local. So then we talk and I was, I was observe fun. So I observe the way they talk and try to, you know, adapt, try to copy it so that I won't make a fun of myself. And then in students in my year, I there's a this uh, American girl. Somehow she also just messaged me like, oh, I, no, first time we gather first and then meet other students and then my American friend. So somehow she also just messaged me, Anita, can we have a coffee next time? Just two of us. So we always, every two weeks, every month, we go for coffee. And because she did her undergraduate and master's degree in the UK, so she kind of already know better UK than me. And uh, she's very, I think, customized to British culture, but she's American. So I pay close attention to her, to the way she speak, to the way she makes. I couldn't do, I couldn't make a small talk at all at the moment. But I pay attention to my friend, to my American friend who really good at it. So I pay attention to the way they, the way she talk, to the way she respond to others, to the way she behave and talk when she was in group. And she, she was my good friend, she was my best, she is my best friend until now. She's the one who also sending me the card. <laughs> so I think I learned a lot from her. And then uh, the another British girl from my research group also somehow like asking me to hang out. Like, hey, Nida, how are you? Nice to meet you in the group. What do you think if we have a, a coffee or tea together and then we have coffee or tea together and then the next time, because she invited me, so I have to invite her as well. And she's a totally British, so then I can learn. And because we met outside, like in the casual setting, so I asked a lot about the culture, about the way, about the meaning of the talk, and I tried to also like imitate the way she talk, the way she respond other, the way makes she make small talk. So that's the thing how I adapted. And then, <clears throat> Yeah, that's a thing. That's how it is. I I just probably lucky that I don't know why somehow people just ask me to hang out with them because I don't really initiate gathering or or hanging out unless people invite me and somehow they always invite me. So I probably just lucky. Yeah, let's return to risky, risky. Finish your question, risky. Okay. Do you have another questions? No, ma'am, you know. Okay, no, okay. Thank you, Rizky. Now we go to Fajar. Is Fajar here? Fajar. Oh, yeah. Oh, is... yeah. Wait, I need to turn off my lights. There is a Fajar. sign. Okay, Fajar. Fajar is not responding. Okay, now we go to Fikri, maybe. Fikri. Fikri. Okay. What is your question, Pikri? Uh, maybe uh, in the UK, can for that uh, to speak with uh, to mem, misalkan. Uh, Indonesian is okay. Yeah, I can understand yeah. Indonesian. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> It's okay, it's okay. Okay, you can speak in Bahasa Indonesia. Okay. Bahasa Indonesia nggak apa-apa. Aku bisa Bahasa Indonesia. Bahasa Jawa juga nggak apa-apa. Dia bisa. Bahasa <laughs> Jawa. Maybe that misalkan ada orang apa namanya Indonesia baru pendatang gitu. Misalkan mau bicara dengan orang situ gitu dengan menggunakan bahasa yang belum kurban gitu gimana oh. pendapat? Belum lancar gitu tuh maksudnya. Nah, belum lancar. Yeah. Yeah. Ade welcome in a phone. <laughs> I'm sorry. Thank you. I'm not sure, but I think they will try to understand you. I think. Well, I have not experience on that. Tapi, misalkan, Kadang kan uh, aksen kita itu kan gak, kadang gak dimengerti sama orang Inggris ya. 
Sometimes I talk that they don't understand. Like, mereka bakal kayak uh, either say like uh, say that again. They will say us to repeat what we say. Like or or they will say um sorry I didn't get that. So it's mean that you have to repeat probably slowly and they will try to understand. And for example, if you uh if it takes long time for you to talk, they, they will uh, patiently wait for you to describe. For example, when I talk with my friend and I don't know the name of the plan, I was like, like, well, I don't know the plan. What is this? And that it's okay, it's okay. You describe it for me. He will say that. And if I talk and because it's totally British, he cannot understand. Sometimes he doesn't understand what I'm saying because I have strong Indonesian art and then she will like, uh, say that again. And my supervisor will say like, also like, uh can you repeat that i didn't get that so i think that's uh, that should be fine and if you don't uh, if we don't understand what they're saying because they also speak fast we can also do the same like sorry i didn't get what you say can you repeat that again yes really so something like that. so that's it i mean if you cannot speak english at all then it won't help but if you still in developing your language that should be helped Yeah, okay, Fikri, do you still have another question? Sudah, sudah jelas ya. Thank you, Ben. Okay, thank you, Fikri. Okay, now, Alfiani dulu. Thank you, Ben. Mm -hmm. Alfiani, okay. I think for connection ya, Alfiani. Maybe you can type your question. <coughs> Atau mungkin bisa di nanti ditulis ya. Oke, kita ke yang lainnya aja dulu. Napa? Alfiani lagi. Good connections. Oke. Napa? Napa Savana, can you hear me? Oh, enggak kok mendadak lagi. <laughs> Oh ya Fajar 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 Isyar Oke okay, Fajar Isyar Oke Fajar Itu How How about the food The Maybe The traditional food In UK In In ah. Yes <laughs> oh, The food is so bad Oh my god Yes How How do you <laughs> How do you attempt? Bagaimana uh, anda beradaptasi dengan makanan di sana? I don't. <laughs> I don't. That's the answer. So what do you eat? I cook my own food. Oh. I hate their. I hate British food. I think the only British food here that I like is uh, there is a um, something called egg Benedict here. Um, and um, it's just basically poach egg with benedict sauce on a bread and somehow they really like bean kacang merah tapi okay. yes kacang merah sama kacang hijau yang ya udah di kacang merah sama kacang hijau direbus gitu oh, aja enggak uh, pakai garam enggak apa-apa ya yeah. no the the food is very bad i hate it that's why i don't adapt i cook my own I I couldn't cook when I was in Indonesia. I was bad cooker. But here I have to survive. Have to. And I, yes, and I cannot eat their food, so I have to learn. So here I can cook now, because it's surviving. I I don't. Okay, what do, what do you cook usually? Oh, rice, rice and of course, and and um, there is an ancient store here, so they sell um. Uh, A bumbu pasta rendang oh. kari that was from malaysia well it's they call it malaysian rendang uh, but what we know it's ours <laughs> so we call we uh i i boil that i bought uh you know the instant paste for rendang oh, yeah. and, curry, and then just cook it with a uh, uh, chicken or a uh, beef or sometimes um I used to have a stock of a bumbu pecel a lot. <laughs> And I try to cook a satay ayam with um, I invite 
during summer, I invited my friends, my office mate, and then I cook a satay ayam from them. They love it. <laughs> it's like, oh my God, that's so good. And I was like, yeah, that's Indonesia food. <laughs> <laughs> and then I cook uh, me ayam once from my American friend. And it's like, oh my God, Nisha, this is so good. Oh my God, I never did that because I thought, yeah, well, that's Indonesian food. It's that good. <laughs> it's just very strong. <laughs> Okay, well, okay. Pesan dari Bu Emma ini, when you come home, cook me your secret of this music. No chance. I'm not going to cook not anything at home. My mom can cook for me. Why should I cook on my own? I'm just going back to my own <laughs> There are a bunch of seller in Indonesia. There's penjual penyet everywhere. Why should I cook? <laughs> Here, I don't have a choice. <laughs> ah, okay. Fajar. Okay, Fajar, do you have another questions? Oh, Fajar. Ya, sudah cukup Fajar. Yes. Okay. Then if uh, what what kind of food is usually sell in in your place? In here? Yes. Ah, uh, wait. Um, I don't know if I describe it. Can you understand it with the pictures? I don't know if I can send pictures here. Screen, box, website, report, photo. Oh yes, I can share photo. Mm, so something like this. Can you see it? Uh, we can see anything. You cannot? No. How come? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Yang lain mungkin? Oh. Can you see it now? Oh, yeah, 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 yes, I can see. Yes, well. What's that? Uh, so it's pancake. It's uh, my favorite, which is a, this one is a, pancake. called egg benedict. Pancake. Eggs benedict. So, telur ceplok, tapi ceploknya di air, bukan di minyak. Setengah matang, and then uh, sausnya saus benedict. I also don't know how to make that, so I cannot explain to me, explain to you. Terus hijau itu di atasnya, I don't know, but I don't eat that. The people here just love to eat trash and flour somehow. Ini bukan kayak kemangi tadi. No, 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 it's not. Bukan, 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 bukan kemangi. Bukan. Ini kayak rumput, serius. Oh, rumput. <laughs> <laughs> kayak makan kambing. <laughs> Kalau aku makan ini juga aku singkirkan gue hijau nya dan like it. And then itu jamur. Hmm, jamur. Yeah. Terus bawahnya itu pancake. Oke, okay. I'll try to show the other. Oh. It's just the thing that I, I think that's the only food that I like. And also I usually eat um uh, no, this is Asian. Oh, Oops. What else again? Uh, people here love to eat cake. Ah, uh, this is the food for Christmas. So this thing, can you can you see it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That thing called yolk side pudding. Bukan puding, tapi disebut puding di sini. Oh, yok. yok berarti dari putih telur gitu. Yok. Eh, yok, no, bukan. Tapi dari daerah, daerah Yok. Oh, gitu. Yorkshire. Yorkshire pudding. So, that is called Yorkshire pudding. I don't know what is that. Uh, I don't know why they call it pudding. It's, it's not pudding. In our understanding. But they call it pudding. And then, it's a turkey. Uh, ayam turkey, the, the thing that, and they stuff something inside, I don't know, and the kecil -kecil, the, the small thing is, a, don't worry, I didn't eat that, it's a, they call it pig with blanket, oh. <laughs> so it's ham, uh, they circle it on so oh, sauces with blanket, so sauces diselimuti ham, and they roasted it, oh, I don't eat that, and then it roasted uh, kentang, apa, roasted potato, It's good. I tried one, and I tried to cook it before the roasted potato. Yes, yeah, so that's the food that usually here. 
they don't really have a variety of food because they're colonized in the past, remember? <laughs> but they have a very, uh, have a many cakes. Oh, and there's, there's this. This thing, it's called quiche. Yes, then that's like that. Tapi namanya quiche. Quiche. And berarti ini besar terus di slice di Iya, kayak bulatan besar. Heeh. Uh -uh. Ini gini namanya quiche. Jadi kayak kayak kue lumpur tapi di toppingin topping pizza. Jadi cheese, tomato and eggs. And oh, and there is scones. That this one is scones. Scones itu, yeah, dimakannya biasanya sama tea atau coffee in brunch or tea time. Itu khas, yeah, khas British tu namanya scones. That's one I like. So you eat it with strawberry jam. Yeah, I think that's that the British food that I usually have. I mostly just have Asian food because. Not really like white people food, so. Kak cocok di lidah. Kak cocok. We are Indonesian already. Get used to the very flavor. Spicy. Yes, that's that's the food that um. Okay, and eat here. Okay, Pajar, do you still have another question, Pajar? No. No. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am Nida. Did you just call me? Nida. Okay. You're very much welcome. Next questions, I think, jelas ya, because we already have one hour, more than one hour. Yeah. Maybe the last questions. If still there is any questions, Rifki, maybe, Rifki. Or no, ma'am. Oh no, if you know, okay, Dian, maybe Dian. Wait, sorry, sorry. What, Rizky? Do you do you still want to say something? Yes, I think the thing that haven't been mentioned is raising good, yeah, raising good, raising good attitude in the UK. Oh, attitude, but the. Attitude. Gimana? 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 Kurang keras Rizky. Agak dekat ke. Tidak. 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 Halo. Ya. Saya pakai. Cara berpakaian. Oh. Sebenarnya. Terus. There is no rule of dressing here. You can be all covered up. You can be all naked. No one will pay attention to you. Okay, no one cares about what you wear. <laughs> yeah, because there are so many immigrants from Middle East here. So even though you wear a hijab or wearing like Middle East go, it's normal because many Muslims here. Even in my university, we have a prayer room as well. We have Islamic society, but the other local girl they like to wear a uh, revealing clothes, especially during summer while they only use it only bra and hot pants. Yeah, doesn't matter, <laughs> and because like the whole year in the UK summer it's just two months. You just feel the warm two months. And you can feel expressing yourself in clothes because you don't need to cover up in coat or jacket. So usually during summer people do berlomba-lomba kayak expressing kayak pakai baju yang mereka suka semas as well kayak yang revealing gitu. Karena most of the time it's so gloomy here. Ini ada matahari sedikit nih. Aku happy banget. Nanti bentar lagi ini mendung lagi yang bikin depressing. Di sini 200 hari dari 365 hari itu hujan. So when the sun come out, 
people just like to wear whatever they want. Doesn't matter if you want to be cover up. Doesn't matter if you want to just naked. You can do both. No one will pay attention to you. Uh, that's in the public. But, uh, uh, formal setting in the public too. But what is in the formal occupation? Like, formal. Okay? There is no rule as well. <laughs> you, you, it is. You can wear whatever you want. Actually, there is no. I think it's not on the UK, but in the Western world, uh, we we don't pay so much attention to what you wear. It is up to you. But since in the UK it's a court most of the time, so people mostly wear sweater and then coat. Because well, you can you can use a uh, just thin clothes, but it's a court. You you cannot just do that just because the court. But during summer, uh, you should we just like you said t shirt. Uh, really, there is no there is no like dress code or anything, unless you will attend like seminar or very formal gathering. Then you probably just want to rapid dikit. <laughs> That's it. There's no. I'm still wearing jeans during conference. My and my friend just uh, probably just change their shoes. That's it. Probably the the thing that they really there is a uh, there's no like a rule of clothing here. Just wear whatever we want. That's a good thing. <laughs> Is it enough, or do you still have another questions? Okay. <laughs> okay, I think it's enough, yeah, guys. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's almost <laughs> half, uh, half past five here. Half past five. Okay. Okay. I think you have to turn on your camera so we can take picture with you, Junaida. Nain, turn on your camera. Okay, let's take picture first. Well, Emma, where are you going? Why you are in your car? <laughs> well, I was supposed to go to an airport to pick up some people from Umroh, but oh. then uh, the plane turned out, jadi pulang deh. Oh, nggak jadi, berarti nggak jadi jemput. Nggak jadi jemput, cuma jadi belanja sama makan makan oh, aja. Nah, it was, it was that's good. <laughs> that's still good. Uh, that's a good plan actually. <laughs> okay, has anyone turned on your camera? Sudah, sudah nyala semua kameranya. Okay, I will take screenshot. Yeah, okay. Smile, everyone. <laughs> angle, angle dari kamera ku rada weird soalnya. I don't know where's the camera. Oh here. Mungkin yang lain bisa dibantu juga ya, saya bisa dibantu untuk okay, I think. I'll, I'll, I'll screen cap, I'll screen cap it. Yeah. Oke, okay, once more. Lo gue main aku ada gue main. Takut menghilang. Baby, makasih ya, saya ikut nimbrum. Iya, ada apa? Ini tadi kaliannya ada busa panah juga pengen ikut oh, iya. nimbrum. Tapi mana orang kok menghilang? <laughs> Karena adalah salah sal sal berbujur. Uh -huh, tapi menghilang. <laughs> okay, I think that's all the meeting for today. Yeah, thank you so much to Junaida for your time, for your valuable time. Yeah, okay, okay, see you next time. Yeah, okay, kapan balik ini? <laughs> see you. Gak mau balik. Gak mau balik. Mau pindah ke warga negaraan ya, kayak. No, 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 Thank you so much, baby. Thank you, Bujun. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh, yeah, Bujun, you